Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're going to do a little speculation, guessing, and offering our opinions and desires for the Phantom 5. Now, you've probably seen some of the pictures out there that show a dark body, a different camera, maybe some interchangeable lenses. So we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to see what would actually make sense in terms of a new version of the Phantom. Now the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 is brand new, just came out, and the only real difference between that and the Phantom 4 Pro is the addition of OcuSync, so you have a better image transmission. It has the new ESCs with the new prop design, so it's a little bit quieter. It's not hugely different, but you know, it's an improvement. So that wasn't really a big monumental change. It wasn't worthy of a going from a Phantom 4 to a Phantom 5. So what would? Well, let's kind of look at the different product lines that we have today and see what would make sense moving forward. So the Phantom 4 Pro does have the one inch sensor on the camera. It's got great dynamic range, shoots D-Log, uh, 100 megabit data rate. Great machine. Love the camera on here. The new Mavic 2 features the Hasselblad camera, which is also a one inch sensor, a hundred megabit data rate, and it shoots 10 bit video versus eight bit video on the Phantom 4 Pro. So that's a huge difference for people who do color grading and want to get the absolute most out of their camera. I don't own any camera, be it a DSLR or anything, that internally shoots 10 bit video. I have to go to an external recorder to get 10-bit video. So that's a huge win for the Mavic 2 Pro. So of course we're going to see that type of technology moving forward on higher end aircraft. So what else does the Mavic 2 bring to the table? Well, it's very quiet. I don't know if that could be translated over, but as DJI gets better with the ESCs and the prop designs, I would expect the noise level on a Phantom 5 to be reduced. It has the new sensors, front, rear, and side, where the Phantom 4 Pro had the front and rear and had the infrareds on the side. The Mavic 2 has the real sensors on the side. Plus, it has a top infrared sensor. Phantom 4, no top sensor. So I would definitely see a top sensor on a Phantom 5. I think that would make a lot of sense. Maybe even one of the real sensors on top to give it a big difference between the Mavic 2 and a Phantom 5. Now if we go back to the pictures that we've seen online, we see interchangeable lenses. For me, that's a major win. If I could have something with the same camera, because this camera is good, especially in the price point, but with interchangeable lenses, so I could do my nice wide shots, I could do some narrower shots, I could do some zoom shots, really pull in the background, Maybe not a zoom lens, because that could be pretty heavy, but of course that would be nice if they could do that as well. They did do it on the Mavic 2 Zoom, so you never know what the magicians at DJI can pull off. Now keep in mind, everything I'm saying is pure speculation and based on the things that I've seen out there. There is no inside information from DJI. They have been completely tight-lipped about anything having to do with a new Phantom. In some places, some rumors are saying that the Phantom line is dead and may never even see a Phantom 5. I doubt it, and it's because of these reasons that we could go with either a bigger sensor, which I doubt, or the interchangeable lenses. So let's talk about the interchangeable lenses for a moment. The pictures that we've seen online, DJI has said that was a one-off product for a large enterprise client. Now some people call BS on that. But does it make sense? Well, sure it does. The Wind series, those were developed for a specific enterprise client. One was for uh, some gas type inspection, another was for a utility company. Now, those are sellable products from dealers. You can order a Wind 4 or a Wind 8 directly from me. So if you want one, I can get you one. But it started as a product for a specific customer. So if they're saying the Phantom 5, uh, they're not saying Phantom 5, if they're saying the Phantom 4 with the camera that has inter interchangeable lenses was for a specific customer, well, they have the tech now. 
why not add that to a future product? That would make sense. So I'm not calling BS on them saying that was developed for an enterprise customer. I bet it was. But you can bet that they're going to take that technology and put it somewhere. Might as well be on a Phantom 5. Now we've also seen pictures of a Phantom 4 with RTK. I doubt that'll ever come out, but again, developed for a specific customer that was willing to pay for it. So they always do these things behind the scenes with different customers. So I think it's a legit explanation from DJI today, but I also think we are going to see that technology roll up into some new machines. I think that's a given. Now, that's speculation. What do I think, or what would I like to see on it? That's easy. ProRes. End of story. We have 10-bit D-Log at H.265 on the Mavic 2. I would love to see ProRes on a Phantom 5. Now, what's that going to mean for storage? Well, it's going to be much bigger files. It's going to mean much faster bit rate. So the standard micro SD cards that we're used to using may not be able to be used. Might have to go to a U2 card, which I'm fine with. My other cameras already use that. So I'd be okay if we had to move up in memory cards in order to support ProRes on a Phantom 5. So DJI, if you're listening, the two things I would want would be the interchangeable lenses and ProRes, and you've got my money. Absolutely no questions asked. Okay, let's talk about price. What would they do with the price? Most certainly a camera with interchangeable lenses is going to go up in price. Plus, you have to buy the individual lenses. So it may come with one, there may be a kit that has three, who knows what they would do. But certainly, the lenses are going to add to the cost, and simply the, the mounts and things that would go into that camera would increase the cost. Is DJI afraid to raise the cost of a product? Absolutely not. We've already seen it right here with the Mavic 2. The Mavic 2 is priced higher than the Mavic Pro was. So I don't think that's a problem at all. If they can raise the price on a mid-level or a high-level consumer product, would they be afraid to raise the price on a prosumer product? Absolutely not. I don't see that as being an issue. If it was $1,800, $1,900 and it had the interchangeable lenses, I'd make it rain right here and pay up immediately for a camera like that. Now, timeline. What would I expect for a timeline? Well, if I had to make a guess, I'm going to say the end of the year, maybe late October into November, probably not much later than that. Why? Well, all the other Phantoms have been released in that same timeline, and it's time for a complete refresh of the Phantom. I don't consider the V2 a refresh of it. That was just a very small incremental upgrade going from a P3 to a P4, a P4 to a P5. That's a major upgrade, and I would look to see that sometime at the end of the year in time for the Christmas buying season and not like they did with the Mavic Pro where they announced it but nobody could get product till February or March like they did with the Mavic 2 they announced it and immediately had tons of inventory waiting there to ship out and people were happy that they were able to get product within a week or so so that's what I would expect to see on a Phantom 5 as well higher price Sometime around the end of the year, advanced features like interchangeable lens, possibly ProRes, would be awesome, and immediate availability. They will stock up close to 100,000 units would be my guess, so that when they announce it, boom, everyone can get it and have it in time for Christmas. Now, of course, I could be totally wrong. Like I said, this is not based on any insider information. While we are a DJI dealer, this is my personal opinion and what I see happening in the industry. So take it with a grain of salt, but if I had to put my money on it, I'm looking for a P5 by the end of the year. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.